Yo, what is going on, everybody? Koalas here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can configure your Minecraft server with no IP. So basically, what no IP does is this. Let's say I have an IP that's like 101.101.102. Let's say I have that IP for a Minecraft server, whatever, whatever port, I don't care. So pretty much what no IP does is it takes this and it converts it to uh, text. Which obviously, since it is a free service, you won't be able to customize it 100%. But I could make it something like uh, my MC server .ddns net, and then the same uh, I, uh, then the same port that your Minecraft server is port forwarded on. So that brings me to this. This is what you're going to need for the for this tutorial to work. You are already going to need a working Minecraft server that is port forwarded. Now this one that I'm using is currently hosted on my uh, own second computer. It is not hosted with like a Minecraft server hosting website. Um, this is for people that do not have the money for that. If you're using a Minecraft hosting service such as I think Apex MC is one. Um, if you are using one of those, you would not need this tutorial because uh, they already automatically have their own uh, IP th thingy majiggy. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, in my instance, I am going to be ho hosting it on my own computer. And then you're going to need a no IP account. You can do this by going to noip.com and then just making an account. So now you're going to have to get your IP address. If you don't know that, it's very simple to find out. Just Google. Uh, what is my IP and boom it'll show right up on Google obviously I'm gonna blur it out just in case there's weird people but you're gonna want to copy this and remember it next log in to no IP after doing this just go over and hit dynamic DNS and then hit no IP host names now which should look something like this what you're gonna want to do is hit create host name and this is what the box should look like when it first comes up. Host name, uh, you can name this literally anything you want, but I'd recommend uh, naming it something uh, that you would remember. So in my case, uh, I'm not going to show it, but uh, th th I'm just going to name it something that I'm going to be able to remember and that everybody should be able to remember. The domain, uh, you can use any of these free ones. However, I recommend ddns.net as it is the shortest and easiest to remember. And then the IPv4 address is where you will put the IP address that you got uh, from Google. And then just hit create host name. Now every 30 days, you will have to come back and just renew it. Um, unfortunately, I have not meet, met that threshold, so I do not know what the uh, process for that is. But just keep in mind that if you want to keep the server up for a long time, every month you have to come back and just uh, update it and make sure everything's working. Now you're just going to want to go on Minecraft. Now where it says server address, uh, it'll have the text box under it. And what you're going to put here, you can find a no IP just by going on the dashboard. Under host name, it'll have the link right here in, uh, in blue. So I'm just going to type that in. Once it is typed in, you're going to want to hit the colon and then type in the port that you configured your Minecraft server to run on. In my case, I know exactly what it is off the top of my head. And you can just name it Minecraft server if you want. You can name it whatever the hell you want. So now after adding it, I actually have to go ahead and start it. Uh, pretty simple to start it. The way I have it is uh, just a batch file. That's typically how people do it. Okay, now that it is up and running, we're just going to go ahead back on Minecraft and just refresh it. And boom, look at that. And I can connect to it just fine. Everything is running refined slash TPS. Everything is working just how it should. Now, there is only one person online, but uh, if just as long as there aren't any lag machines in the computer that you're hosting it on is not a, not a piece of garbage, uh, it should be fine. Now, of course, you still can if you really want to. You can still type in your IP here. However, there is no point in doing so. And since I do have a DINMAP plugin, uh, it will use the same host name, except it'll be whatever port you decided to run DINMAP on after you port forwarded it. As you can see, everything seems to be showing up just fine. Everything's good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.